Again, a 16-point win tonight for the Queens men's basketball team to move to 14-0 on the season. And our post-game guest is associate head coach Grant Leonard for the first time this year, first time we talk uh, on camera in about a year, Grant. Um, defensively, this is now two consecutive games in which you have held up an opponent well under their season scoring average and under 60 points. Um, how do you feel about the defensive growth of this team, a team that's on pace to hold opponents much lower than it did last season and last year led the South Atlantic Conference? Well, I think when, anytime you have a lot of guys returning, uh, they start to understand concepts better. Uh, they've, they've really had a defensive mindset all year. I know that everyone thinks we're a really good offensive team, um, but I think they've bought into the fact that defense is going to lead us to the championships we want. Uh, but they, they have really bought into locking in on scouting reports and, and the concepts. They, their understanding of what our goals are is at a much higher level than it was last year. And, and so far, they, they've really bought into becoming a defensive team first. I also think the growth of some guys specifically defensively. Daniel Carr was always quick, but again, he's another one who always seems to be in the right spot. Uh, Mike Davis oftentimes draws the assignment on the team's best player. Uh, Todd Withers with his length. Uh, in the pressure, it almost seems as if parts are interchangeable, that anyone can do anything. Is it that that, that makes this pressure defense specifically generate so many turnovers? Well, I, I, I think that, yes, athleticism can be measured in so many ways, but lateral athleticism is something that we really look at. Um, and then also you can't, you can't even um, discount the fact like a guy like Solomon Smith, who, who's an incoming freshman, comes in and he's got a defensive mindset in his game as well. Daniel Carr absolutely comes in tenaciously every time. You know, anytime we go to our bench and it's, it's uh, you know, Daniel Carr, DJ White, Sean Willett, Solomon Smith, they're phenomenal defenders, and I think that that's something that we look for is guys that can do multiple things at once, and, and they've done a great job with it. All right, taking charges. Four of them today, two by Ike Agassi, two by Solomon Smith. Um, Bart Lundy calls him the best charge taker <laughs> in high school basketball last year, maybe college basketball this season. Um, is it contagious? Do you practice it? Talk to me about the mindset of having your team or, or cultivating a team that has the ability to take so many charges in a game? I think when you have a team that doesn't take charges, you practice it. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you have a team that has the ability to take them, you kind of you just allow that to happen. And, and Solomon is so instinctive. Uh, he, he makes reads defensively that are far advanced his freshman year. And so he's able to put himself into great positions all, all, over, the, all over the floor. And I think that his taking charges has led to other guys want to take them too because a charge is, is not just a turnover for the other team, it's also a foul on one of their players. And so it's one of the best plays in basketball. And if we could get more, I, I would take them every play. Uh, but our guys have done an unbelievable job of buying into, into wanting to take charges and, and sacrificing their body for the team. I think it says a lot that this team can win these low scoring affairs when the offense maybe comes out a bit sluggish early and then ramps it up and still scores 74 points and still wins by 16. Um, but again, it says a lot that you can win this, this slow, drag it out style of games, as was the case at Tarleton State, as was the case tonight against Wingate. Uh, what, however, might you like to see more of on the offensive end? Uh, I think that we weren't as elite in transition as we want to be. I think we had some opportunities early, and we had a couple turnovers in transition that kind of hurt us. Uh, I think that that is something that we can improve on as the season goes because we have offensive players that are dynamic enough to be scorers in transition. I thought Jalen Alexander tonight was fantastic in transition. He opened up the game for us, and, and we could use more of that. Um, we had a couple turnovers on outlet passes trying to force it to Ike. Guys are capable of bringing it down the floor and making decisions. Um, I think that would be the one area, but, but overall, uh, when you have a team that's veteran, they, there's going to be so many different ways teams try to attack us. So teams are trying to slow it down, and we have to embrace that because I think that we are capable, and we've showed that now, of playing a slower pace, a medium pace, and a faster pace, and we've been successful in all of them. And so no matter how anyone attacks us, I think our guys are confident that they'll be successful. 14-0, and 11 wins by double figures, including tonight, 74-58 to 58 over the Wingate Bulldogs. That's associate head coach Grant Leonard. Grant, thanks so much. All the best of luck. Thanks, Phil.